guys, Dr. Christy Ennis. Today I am going to talk to you about how your ankle actually affects your knee and can cause pain into the knee. We talked a little bit before about the hip and the butt, so definitely go ahead and check out that last video to see how that affects you as well. But today, like I said, we're gonna talk about that ankle, and mostly because that ankle doesn't move well. So your ankle has to have a certain amount of what we call dorsiflexion, and that's where that ankle comes up like this, bends back up. If it doesn't do that, when you go to take a step, if your ankle doesn't flex, that knee is gonna rotate all the way in so that that foot can move forward. And you can see then that that would place a fair amount of stress right on the inside of that knee. So step one is figuring out if you have a tight ankle. And one of the easiest ways to do that is if you take a measuring tape and measure about 10 centimeters away from the wall, that's where you're going to line that big toe up. Move my band a little. And then you're going to bring that knee right in towards the wall. And as you guys can see, my knee does not go to the wall unless I lift that heel up. I shattered my ankle as a kid and it is definitely tight. However, working on it does make a difference. So again, if that knee doesn't want to touch all the way to that wall, especially if you feel it in the front of that ankle, you've got some tightness in there. So now I want to show you the ways and how you actually work on loosening that. So number one is to work on some of that soft tissue that's restricting that motion. So I'm going to come right down on the ground and grab my derma edge, bend that foot up and you can either cross it or even just pull it and you're going to start to get in to that tissue in through the calf right in through the Achilles for a couple minutes and you don't have to push hard so all around there and you can even get into the ankle itself and that's actually going to start to let that foot come up even more so you want to start to do it in this little stretch position that helps to loosen and lengthen things even more so once you do this, you've got that fascia and that muscle lengthened a little bit, then you can go ahead and get into that joint a little bit more. And to do that, you'll use an assisted pull-up band, which is what I have connected right here. So it's going to go in two positions. First is around the front of the ankle. And so to do that, you step right into it after wrapping it around right over the front of that ankle, and then you want to pull out without falling over to get some nice good resistance in there, keeping that heel down, and then you're going to bend into that front knee and straighten against that resistance of the band. Bend and straighten. So this is actually taking that joint and gliding that surface and about 15 to 20 repetitions, two to three times a day, certainly at first to start if you're able to. Keeping the band in the same area, you're just going to turn around so that now it's coming towards the back of that ankle. Same idea, get some resistance, and then it's bend that knee and straighten. Again, for about 15 or 20 repetitions. And that's the order that you want to do things in, working on that soft tissue first and then getting into the joint. Now, I only did this very, very briefly, but if I bring my foot back, if I can get it out of the band, ugh, and bring my toe back to that 10 centimeters and then bend it in. I actually am already a little bit closer. My heel will come off if I go a little bit further, but that is that was only a minute or two and already it's able to make a difference. So if you spend three to five minutes doing this during the day, you'll really see a change in that motion of the ankle. So thanks for tuning in today. If you found this helpful, please click that thumbs up button and share it with any of your family or friends that might benefit from this. Thanks guys.